surge over 16 billion gallons of rain falls on San Francisco every day. Add climate change to the mix and more extreme storms. You wind up with conditions like we saw during this year's atmospheric rivers, flooded streets, backed up drains. In tonight's Project Earth, Ann Makovic reports on a creative solution that aims to manage the storm water while benefiting kids, their families, and their neighborhoods. From up high, two pink steeples mark the spot. South of Golden Gate Park, you'll find St. Anne of the Sunset. Neighborhood children have attended its private school for more than a century. So many individuals in the community and in the neighborhood experience St. Anne's personally or know someone who goes there. Are you going to eat? Including the Vanderweel family. Parents Jennifer and Miles, yeah. nine year old Ella. Oh Do you want yogurt instead, bud bud? And six year old Hugh. They belong to the first generation at St. Anne that will benefit walk, walk, walk. from a bold new project. Go. Yeah, I think it's really important and wonderful to see the school kind of leading the way. The plan? To transform St. Anne's concrete campus into a stormwater schoolyard, all thanks to a grant from the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. We're excited for you guys to see it when it's built. Sarah Bloom is a senior watershed planner with the PUC, which has so far awarded 20 grants to schools, art groups, and parks. The main goal is to divert stormwater. Climate change is here. Uh, we're going to see more and more intense storms. We can expect that. And green infrastructure is one of the many tools in our toolbox that we have to manage stormwater, especially during these larger storms. Last summer, heavy equipment broke ground and construction began. Big storms can overwhelm the city's antiquated sewer system, backing up drains and flooding streets. One way to manage the runoff is to build special gardens, where the rain soaks into the earth or is captured for reuse. At St. Anne's, workers created and then planted several gardens. The students helped select native plants, which will be grown in special soil. They'll be bringing in specially engineered soil called bioretention soil, and that's a mixture of different types of compost materials and sand that allow the stormwater to flow through it really, really quickly. The rain that falls on the schoolyard and roof will now flow into the gardens. So we take that downspout and we disconnect it, and then we'll feed that water straight into the rain garden. So with the addition of the water coming from the yard and the roof, these rain gardens are, are doing a lot of heavy work when it rains. Workers also installed a special permeable pavement that acts like a sponge. Pour water on the paver, it'll soak right into the ground. Under one garden, a large drain holds heavy runoff, allowing it to slowly percolate into the soil. As for all the water, it goes straight into the groundwater. Underneath St. Anne's is the largest groundwater basin in San Francisco. It's called the West Side Basin. It stretches 40 square miles from Golden Gate Park to Burlingame in San Mateo County. After months of ripping up concrete, installing pipes, pavements, and planting new gardens, the big storms are here. So far, so good. We've had lots of rain, and the gardens have absorbed all the moisture that's come in and all the downpour from the roofs. Ella and Hugh put on their rain boots and grabbed umbrellas to check out how the new gardens work. It gets pushed in. Over here, water is dripping from here. You can see that little water here. They're beautiful, and I can see that they're taking a lot of water so they can grow. It's been a really wonderful project for the kids to get more engaged and become more aware. Aware that when we put our heads together, we have a better chance of weathering whatever the future brings. Yeah. Yeah. The SFPUC is now accepting new applications for grants and even exploring a pilot program for homes.